Dabur has been though reacting to its numbers. While it was sure a positive set from HTFC, it's not quite the case with Dabur. Let me take it across to Vinny and find out uh, why this massive margin miss. Vinny? So absolutely, you know, just uh, margin was a miss, profitability was a miss, revenue was the only thing that was in line. Now, when you talk about the profitability of the company, we're seeing a, a bit of a subdued performance there. Why? There are two factors. One, uh, the Batsa. Bacha Masala acquisition which is there. Now that uh, that has seen a bit of a amortization of amortization cost that comes in there that is of 22 crores as well as there's a one-off of around 85 crores which is in terms of impairment of goodwill of one of its wholly owned subsidiaries as well. Now uh, other than that margins you know sharp contraction of around 250 to 300 basis point in terms of margins only at 15.2 percent of what the margins came in at. Volume growth also single digit low single digit was what we were expecting as well and volume growth has come in at one percent. Management commentary clearly highlighting in terms of the consumers have been down trading they're going for affordable packs they're going for low uh, unit price products at the surely that means they're more price sensitive and that is the impact that we see coming in in terms of uh, all the performances of the company as well in terms of volume growth also leading to a lower volume growth as well demand slowdown is also clearly seen by the company especially they're saying it's more accentuated in the rural markets and that is what is leading to a negative mix for the company as well other than that when you look at in terms of the food web food Foods and beverage segment has seen a strong growth coming in. Uh, juices and uh, fruit drinks have gained market share. Even Chavan Prash, they managed to gain market share. But health supplements, there was a very high base last time. Uh, last couple of years, we've seen a high base in Q4 FY22 and Q4 FY21 as well because of the COVID situation that was going on. So this time around, we're seeing a decline in terms of the growth in uh, health supplements that is down by 3.3%. So all in all, when you look at Dabur's numbers, margin was a miss and profitability was below expectations. Only revenue is what came in line with what we were expecting.